is the Gunnar. Hey, good day. Welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I'm here with Amy, and uh, we're ministering to people. If you would like to receive a word, please write your name in a comment, and we would love to minister to you. All right. So the first person I want to minister to is Mariette. All right. So Mariette, uh, the Lord showed me. Um, uh, a covenant that you make with God is written out, sealed by the Lord and you also signed uh, and it's called the covenant of provision and I saw in this covenant, covenant you were loving God you, you were obedient to the Lord and the Lord just provided in every one of your needs, needs and he was just um, like pouring out uh, resources to you and I actually saw how you were not only carrying yourself but you were carrying um, was it children or family members or parents but it was like there was abundance overflow and that was what the Lord said to me he gave me the word covenant of provision uh, Marie, the Lord loves you very much and because of your faithfulness the Lord is bringing increase to you God bless you Amen, this next word is for Alpha Alpha, God loves you very much and I just feel the Lord is giving you two types of treasures heavenly treasures and also earthly treasures as well I just feel how the Lord is really whatever the enemy has stolen God is bringing complete restoration but also I just feel the Lord is just just giving you treasures um, and, and I really feel it's heavenly but it's also um, treasures that you need now for your assignment and then Alpha I just really feel how God is um, you know just like a coach for a boxer he's putting his hands on your shoulders and I saw how you were boxing with these gloves for a long time and God told you to take them off and I, I uh, and I saw how um, when you box it was like it was like God was was your gloves. You were like you were within God's presence, and it was like you didn't even feel it, but you were being obedient. It was like you were within God. So when you fight, you are with Him. So I just feel the Lord says, "I'm giving you a lot. Of, I'm giving you strength, but I'm also giving you the wisdom and um, for how to fight these battles." And I just feel the Lord says, "When a storm comes." Just remain in me and literally see yourself like when you move your arm it's like God moving his arm with you, you that obedience I really feel it's going to bring a lot of breakthrough then lastly I just feel God is just blessing I don't know if you have pains in your back but I just feel God is just healing 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 your back in the name of Jesus amen hey Alpha so you know in the tabernacle they had the curtain that separated the Holy of Holies uh, and the holy place uh, and that's where the Hollywood priest would go once a year. And I just see how the Lord is opening up the curtain in your life. And how the glory of God comes into you and really brings transformation in your life. Mm -hmm. You know, when Jesus died for you on a cross, there was a, uh, a, the Lord did from the top to the bottom. He torn that, that veil for all of us to have access. And I just felt that the Lord says, He wants you to access the presence of God. Okay, God bless you, Alpha. God loves you very much. So the next word is for Ingrid. All right, so Ingrid. I saw a battle in your life and I just felt that the Lord says that um, sometimes you're going to uh, wait on God and sometimes the Lord is going to give you instructions uh, to uh, attack and you know when you read in the Bible about David sometimes God said to him uh, I've given the enemy into your hand I want you to go and attack him other times the Lord said no you, you can't go uh, I'm going to help you and I just felt that the Lord is giving you a strong intercession anointing and he's, and he's putting his uh, weapons and his armor on you and he says this is now a time to attack the prof, uh, problems, to attack the conflict that's in your life, to face it head on and I actually saw a bull that goes down and he runs and he charges and I felt that the Lord is giving you the strength and the confidence to, to, to challenge the conflicts that's in your life and the Lord showed me David and Goliath and now David by the power of God slain Goliath and now the Lord says you're gonna also slay the enemy in your life because God is gonna empower you to do it uh, Ingrid God loves you very very much and uh, and I want to encourage you God God is giving you strength he is giving you joy he is giving you strategy and as you with a prayerful heart go into dealing with the conflict the Lord is gonna bring peace into your life. God bless you, Ingrid. Amen. God bless you, Ingrid. God loves you. I just saw a beautiful um, picture of this cloud um, around you of God's presence and His glory. God loves you. God bless you. This next word is for Dawn. Dawn, the Lord loves you very much. And I see how God is just restoring your crown. It was like this was the crown of 2024. It's off. God is giving you a new crown. Um, and He's restoring so much joy into your life. And it's like this childlike joy. And then I saw a picture of um, like like all these presents but they're like very very small 
tiny boxes and how the Lord gives you a bunch of them and these are gifts and I just feel how God is calling you to um, receive the gifts that he gives you that you didn't even know you had or what you didn't have but God gave it to you now and God is calling you to grow these presents and these gifts so that you can give it back to him and I just it, just, it looks so beautiful and then like the more you work on your gift and then the more God gives you more so I just feel the Lord says I'm giving you some more gifts talents and you're going to increase it so don't be surprised if you're going to do a lot of extra other things that's going to help you with your assignments God Holy Spirit's also going to help you to understand what is the old what is the new what are we doing now and then lastly I just saw a gold gold pen and ink and how God is just writing um, so much peace and words in your heart um, for this new time God loves you God bless you hey Dawn uh, you know your your name is so prophetic and I felt that the Lord says the night season is over and the dawn has come. It's time yeah. for the sun to rise up and the glory of God and the, even the provision and the freedom that the Lord is bringing into your life. And so the Lord says uh, you will live in an environment of joy, not in an environment of, of uh, anxiety. And so the Lord is just letting the sun rise in your life. Mm -hmm. All right. God bless you, dawn. All right. So the next word is for Ifeshuku. So Ifeshuku, I saw uh, the, in the Olympics. Uh, how the guys doing that one mile and they all stand behind the line and then when they start running then they all kind of bundle up together uh, and there's a lot of the Olympics you see it when the guys come so close together that their legs go into each other and then you have two or three of them that fall sometimes okay? and I saw that was what's happening with you you were running the race and before you knew it one of the guys' legs get in front of you and you didn't see it and before you knew it you and that person were tumbling onto the ground and you hit your your uh, your body up against that that ground and that, that's obviously very disappointing because now if you get up you you're quite far behind in the race um, uh, but I see how the Lord picks you up how he wipes away the tears how he puts new power and encouragement in you and how you just start running again and how the Lord helps you to catch up so that you um, you know do well in the race and, and I just felt that the Lord says uh, don't worry about this a trip and that fall and and what happens you know say sorry to the person or let them say sorry to them forgive them and continue the lord is with you he's helping you strengthening you and he's bringing full restoration to you so i'm gonna double check here yeah that's and i and i just felt that the lord is saying to you son i'm giving you perseverance to keep your joy God bless you. Amen. God bless you. This next word is for Stephen. Stephen, God loves you so much. And I just saw how your eyes were open and there was so much purity and light and just, yeah, just so much. It was just so clear. Um, and I just feel the Lord says, I'm blessing you with eyesight to, to see um, people the way I see them. And I just feel there's a lot of grace, but also God is really making you a strong man. I just see how you are like at the gym and you're gymming and you're picking up weights so that you can, and then when you um, face situations, it's like, that's exactly what you're going through right now. It's heavy right now, but when you go out into the field, it's going to feel like nothing. It's going to feel natural because um, that's why God is like stretching you more so that when you do what you need to do for your assignment, it's, it's like... You know, like when you over prepare for an exam, I just feel that's exactly what God wants you to be strong. And God has such an amazing plan. And I just feel the Lord's His teamwork. He's blessing you with friendship. He's with your family, friendship with your family. And also really, um, yeah, He's just really giving you so much wisdom of who to work with, who are your friends, who are the people you're going to um, talk to, and who are the people that you're just going to be a blessing to, that you're just going to um, give and shine your light into their lives. And, they are, and we've got to be careful of knowing like who do we receive from and not I just feel the Lord says I'm your source um, God loves you so much and I really believe that God has called you to have just such prophetic dreams and to really see who he is and know his voice God loves you God bless you Hello, uh, Stephen I'm just gonna add to Amy so the Lord showed me a map and where you were on this map and you were the whole time facing westwards and then when you were facing westward you were trying to get your resources from that western side but I saw that that sword was dry so you try to get out and there is a little bit but it's not enough and then the Lord turned you to the eastward side and then when you turned eastward then I saw just uh, people even boats with cargo different businesses all of them become new relationships in your life and they become uh, a source uh, for you uh, to live out the call and what God is doing in your life and I just felt that the Lord says he's just turning you 
facing westwards to facing eastwards. Okay? Uh, it also has a spiritual meaning because on the eastern side is where the, the sun rises, where new beginnings come, where new things happen. And the west is where the sun goes down. And I just felt that the Lord says that He's also spiritually making that turn in your life that you see, but this is a new day and there's new things in my life, new things that God is also going to do in and through my life. God bless you, Stephen. Okay, so uh, April, uh, the Lord was saying to me, uh, fear and hesitant, uh, hesitance. It's as if you were just hesitant. Should I go or should I not go? You know, sometimes uh, it's more comfortable to stay than to go. But when the opportunity come, now we're asking God, should I go or should I not go? Right? And I felt the Lord gave me, He's giving you boldness, courage, and wisdom. I felt he is opening up the door and he is going to allow you to go through and go to this new opportunity that the Lord is opening up for you. So you don't have to be fearful and feel um, hesitant to go. The Lord loves you very, very much and he's guarding you, he's protecting you and he is the one that's opening opportunities for you in your life. God bless you. Maybe God bless you. This next word is for Joshua. Joshua, you, that name is so prophetic and I just feel that's really, there's a reason why you've been called Joshua. Um, the picture God showed me for you was, I saw like blues and I just see how um, God is, is pulling you into his love and it's so ocean deep and I just see how the Lord has really um, called you for um, to be a builder of the kingdom of God and how the Lord is I just feel God is giving you like a blueprint God is giving you tools and I just see how you're working and you're building and, I, and you know that scripture uh, I think it's uh, Matthew 6 verse 33 seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added to you and I see how you have like a list of things that you want to do um, also things that you want to do with your family like specific holidays and also things that you desire in your heart um, and I just feel the Lord says I've seen that list I know your the desires of your heart I know you I love you I'm calling to seek first my kingdom and all those things will come to you and I just see how you say yes God and how you take all the tools that he's given you and you go to work with the, the, the things that the Holy Spirit tells you to do and then I just see how God just supplies um, triple the amount of what you've been asking for so I just feel the Lord says stay focused focused on me keep on going keep on seeking first my kingdom and then everything else i'm going to sort out god loves you so much joshua god bless you hey uh, joshua uh um, the lord showed me daniel chapter one <clears throat> daniel was young and he was was with this group of hebrews and a lot of uh, young people from many nations uh, young meaning in their 20s I, I suppose i don't know how old they were but um, I saw how all of these guys were together and they were receiving training and they were also receiving from the king's table because the Lord, uh, the king wanted to raise them up into positions of authority and rulership. And then Daniel and his Hebrew friends, they said, we're not going to eat from that wine of the king's table and that, that uh, pork that the, the king was serving. Uh, we will rather eat uh, vegetables and drink water uh, because we don't want to break the law of God. And so they, they kept themselves to live holy before the Lord. And then God promoted them. And then uh, Daniel plus, I think, his uh, three friends, Abednego, Shadrach, and mm -hmm. Abednego, and... Shadrach, Meshach, yeah, and Abednego. Yeah, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, yeah. So those three guys were his friends. And all three of them um, pr were promoted into positions of authority. And I felt that the Lord says... Because you are walking with me, you're walking according to the Spirit, you're keeping yourself holy. The Lord is going to promote you through the ranks quicker than the guys around you. Uh, because you are a, a person that the Lord is putting in a position of government. Not to only stand for yourself, but also to stand for the kingdom of God. And so the Lord loves you very much. And uh, the name Joshua is actually an amazing name. Yeah. Uh, because that's actually the very same uh, a Hebrew spelling also for Joshua in the Bible, also the Hebrew spelling for uh, the name of God, Jehovah, also the same spelling for Yeshua, where it's Jesus, because they leave out that vowels. So it's amazing that God has given you, and that word Joshua actually means someone that saves, or like a lifesaver. And I also believe that is what you're going to do. You're really going to help a lot of people to be saved. All right, God bless you, Joshua. All right, so the, the next uh, person I want to minister to is Bridget. Uh, so Bridget, the Lord showed me a river of love. And I felt that the Lord says He's putting you in the river of love and He's putting people around you that really care about you. And I felt like for a long time, you felt but 
I don't have a big uh, support base always around me. I'm not sure if people actually love me just for who I am or is it because they can get out of me something that they want. But I saw people that just care about you. Just like a mother takes care of a child. So the Lord cares about you and He's putting these people around you that cares for you. And then I see how the love of God is coming out of you and you touch many, many people. And how their lives are changed and transformed. Because of the touch of God that flows out of you. God bless you, Bridget. Amen. This next word is for Carrie. Carrie, God loves you very much. And just while praying for you, I saw a picture of how... Um so, you know, when the children of God were walking around the desert um, and their clothes didn't deteriorate, their clothes were fine. And I just saw how um, God is sent, it, the picture, it was an interesting picture. It was like God told you to go to the shop to buy yourself a dress. Um, and then you were like, um, no God, everyone's going there. No one says, they, they, people say there's nothing there. And God says go. And then you go and you find this beautiful dress. And it was like, but it was, it was not, um, it was not new. And then the moment you picked it up, and put it on it was like God totally restored it and it was it was so it was so stunning so I just feel the Lord says keep on being obedient to my Holy Spirit you're going to find beautiful surprises and I just feel like those miracles that God did the way he looked after um, his people God is doing that with you and I just feel how the Lord is also um, telling you to be very specific um, with your with your decisions and, and, and spending time with him I, I just feel like God is really giving you wisdom of how to work with money, where to invest, um, and also I just feel how God is giving you like a um, like a new like a download of how to um, how to um, if this hope this makes sense how to fight how to um, when you see conflicts when you see situations everything that's going on I just see how God is giving you like this righteousness and this patience but also He's giving you so much wisdom to know how to handle situations and conflict but I just see how God is also placing the sandals of peace on you so if there's right now a lot of um, shaking right now i just feel the lord says i'm with you and i am I'm, I'm i'm just like blessing your mouth so that you can speak my words um god loves you god bless you kerry okay so kerry uh, i really believe that the lord is going to give you supernatural provision yeah. uh, and just like uh, jesus told the disciples put them in groups of 50 he broke the bread he gave it to them and i fed five thousand uh, I felt that the Lord is also going to give you steps of obedience and you're going to do them and then you're going to see supernatural increase in your life. I also felt that the Lord is calling on unity in your family. And yeah. as you guys walk together, together in unity, uh, then that also brings the protection and the blessing of God yeah. in your life. All right. So family, just as a corporate word, uh, I felt that the Lord is saying to you, uh, many of you that are watching today, that the Lord is going to help you to overcome a mountain. And I saw a lot of people are standing in front of the mountain and how the Lord strengthens them to overcome, to walk over that mountain and to continue and not to say, but this mountain is now going to stop me. I can't go anymore. So the Lord says, don't give up. Stand strong and continue. I'm with you and I'm strengthening you and you will overcome. I say, awesome, family. Uh, I love and appreciate each one of you. Uh, we will be back again uh, Monday evening, 7 o'clock uh, to minister, or 6 o'clock South African time to minister to you. Uh, have a fabulous day. God bless you. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.